What's up guys, it's me again, Crush Pixel. Mojang recently released a 13W21A snapshot in which they added an awesome new feature to the game called Attributes and Modifiers. Um, attributes and Modifiers can be applied to an item which you can hold in your hand or equip if it's armor or something. And then it gives an effect to you and they already added the mob follow range, maximum health, knockback resistance, attack damage and speed and for zombies the zombie spawn reinforcements modifiers and these can be added to any item using NBT data and I wrote an MC edit filter because it's always a lot of work to um, use an NBT editor to um, apply these effects to the items and this time I actually was faster than Zethblink and any other MC edit filter maker out there so I thought um, this would be really cool if I could show it to you before them and let me just take these items for example uh, here we have the overlords blood mail of course I took this item from League of Legends and it gives you plus 850 maximum health um, yeah maybe that's a bit overpowered because the standard health is 20 um, uh, every half heart counts one and yes that would be a lot of hearts yeah but um, here's the zooming stick it uh, just gives you minus hundred thousand percent speed so um, you got the slowness effect which um, decreases your, uh, your field of view so it zooms this is something cool and we have the passive diamond sword which has minus five attack damage um, a normal diamond sword gives you plus seven so this only does as much damage as yes I don't know maybe an axe yeah wooden axe even less than a wooden axe and this is the ultimate gravel block it gives mob follow range health knockback resistance attack damage speed and uh, the for player use less zombie reinforcements to you this is really cool and yeah now I'll show you how to create your own uh, for example we want to do um, the OP um, uh, running gold nugget yeah which makes you sprint very very fast and it should do a lot of damage too so you put the item you want to modify in a chest and then we head over to MC Edit. Okay, here in MC Edit we got these two chests and the left one was the empty one because I took all the items out of it and here's the one with the gold nugget in it. And we click on filter and yeah, here's the filter already selected. Add attributes to items, that's what it's called in in the MC Edit. And here you can select between um, all the attributes and they will be added to the NBT data then. Uh, let's take speed and we can uh, have a total and relative um, amount. Um, uh, if we take a relative here it would be plus 10% speed which is not that much but if we do a total this would be plus 1 speed because it's plus 0 0.1 and in Python you can't do the um, decimal numbers um, in MC edit that's not possible so yeah um, let's make it yeah, relative plus 500 percent speed and then we click on filter and then let's give it some attack damage too total attack damage plus 50 no that's too much let's do it plus 8 yes plus 8 and then we click on filter again and we save the whole thing here using the save button or ctrls okay so we saved it and then we'll go back again to mine okay so here we go and um, this is the golden nugget of awesomeness. Yay, I can run faster now. I actually can't sprint when I have these uh, effects, but I'm very fast um, anyways. 
So yeah, maybe I'll just show you what they do. And yeah, let's spawn some zombies here. Oh no, you're burning. Poor zombie, don't burn. Wait, let me help you with your passive diamond sword. With my passive diamond sword. I can't. Why can't I hit that zombie? Ah, maybe because of the minus five. Ah, it does minus five attack damage. And um, it also. Yes, it does not do any damage. Okay. Okay, so we killed you using our assuming stick. Haha. <laughs> um, yeah. Then let's wear the Overlord's Blood Mail slash Game Mode 2. You see, it takes a while until we start to take damage. Okay, it will take somewhat forever because of the plus um, 850 maximum health. Nope. Uh, evil Creeper. Peaceful mode. Yeah, and the ultimate gravel block gives you the knockback resistance. Uh, let me spawn another zombie. You see I don't get knocked back that much. Well, yes, that's what the knockback resistance does. Well, I actually get knocked back a lot more than without the knockback resistance, so yeah, that's maybe it should be minus 100. I don't know really. Yes, that's maybe a bug. I don't know. And what do we? What else do we have? Uh, yeah, the zombie reinforcements. Uh, yes, that uh, just for zombies it has to do something with their spawning. Oh, you see now, the overlord's blood mail is not helping anymore. Let me. Let me. Evil spiders. Okay. And yeah, the. Mob follow range is in which radius the mobs do see you and follow you then. Okay, so let me just head over there and fly with my golden nugget of awesome speed. And I hope you enjoyed that video. You can um, download the filter from uh, the Crush Pixel website. The link is in the description. And I think it's very cool that the whole thing that I wrote a filter earlier than Sethling did and I uploaded the whole thing earlier. Yes, that's really cool. And I just learned Python anyways. I, I taught it myself actually. And yeah, well, that's it for today. See you in the next video. Bye.